No. Uh, and, and I say that because they're two different situations. Pa uh, Tom Brady feels like the NFL has been targeting the Patriots organization for years. The, the, the Patriots feel like victims, and they feel like everybody's out to get them. They feel the NFL and the media have been trying to paint them as cheaters. This was something that was going to be used to hurt Peyton Manning's legacy, I mean, uh, Tom Brady's legacy, final nail in the coffin as the Patriots and Brady as cheaters. He was taking a stand not just for Tom Brady, but also his team and his organization. Peyton Manning, on the other hand, he's done with football. This is the end of his career. Al Jazeera, not the most credible news organization, particularly on NFL issues. And so I think it was easier for Peyton Manning to cooperate with the league on this issue. So the, the NFL doesn't want to see Peyton Manning damaged and his brand damaged. But I think it was easier for him to cooperate. Tom Brady wanted to be 100% acquitted, but wasn't willing to go 100% in on here's the evidence. If my wife suspected I had cheated and I wanted 100% acquittal, can I see your phone? Now, that's private. Can't have it that way. If you want to be... Whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't compare the NFL to your wife, did you? No. What I'm saying is, if you want to be 100% acquitted, then if I ask for your phone, hand it over. You can go to texts, and there is the deflator, and I am suspicious, and... It's the Patriots, and you've pushed the envelope, and you want 100% acquittal, and the league says, give us the phone. If you don't trust the people doing the investigation, you're crazy for cooperating with them fully. Again, Tom Brady took the mindset of many people that get involved with the criminal justice system. It ain't about the truth. It's about what you can prove. It's about, it's a contest that has nothing to do with Don't the truth. Don't you have to understand the optics? The optics are horrible. I, I won't give you my phone. That's going to play in a league where most fans, fair or not, there was Spygate, don't trust the Patriots. That's bad optics. The optics, I think, at this point, at the end of all this, actually work in Tom Brady's favor. I think he has dirtied up Roger Goodell's name far more than Roger Goodell has dirtied up his name. He drugged this out and made this a battle in the public's mind between he and Roger Goodell. Okay. And I think most of the public would side with Tom Brady. That's fair. But in the initial reluctance, he was worried about winning it. I mean, he wasn't thinking back then, I want to muddy this up. He was like, I don't want to get suspended. So they come to him and say, Tom, you know, we got a lot of suspicions here. We've got a team saying it. We've got referees saying it. We've got... There was a lot of things, be a lot of fluidity to this early. He's like, I'm not giving you the phone. Well, what do you think they think? Peyton Manning co op Now, both Manning and Brady first denied it, called it baloney. Then they said, let's just get through this period. Let's get the season done. The difference is the third step. One cooperated fully, one pushed back. I think that's the difference. I think Tom was difficult from day one on this. And I think he had to be, no way I'm giving the NFL my phone.